Hello, grade eights, and welcome to 6.1, which we have already done in class. Uh, and the goal for that would do, was to add and subtract integers. We follow along on page 182. Um, we are going to be doing next day, tomorrow, uh, 6.2, relating integer subtraction to addition. And the goal for that will be subtract integers by measuring the distance between them. Okay, and that's found on 184. So you can follow along, but a lot of this is not from the textbook. So I'd like you to take some notes and be organized, and we'll be good to go and we'll review next day, okay? So let's start off. First of all, communication tips. The positive sign, all right? is not usually included with positive integers. Okay, it's just a straight number, no positive sign. You will see them, you will see a negative sign when the number is below zero, but you'll never see a positive sign on a whole number. Next, brackets are only needed when the sign of a number follows an operation symbol and might be confused with the operation symbol. For example, three plus minus six, negative six, minus plus 6, right? Negative 6, not minus 6. That's a minus. Can be written as 3 plus negative 6 minus 4. Get the difference? Minus negative 6. All right? So, copy this down. Pause right now if you need to and get this down. All right? Now, as I was saying in class before, the number line is your friend. All right? If we're working with negative numbers, Okay, it moves either left or right on the number line. Negative numbers go to the left, okay? And your positive numbers go to the right, all right? Line continues left and right forever, all right? An example with this would be 5 plus 3 equals 8. So 5 plus 3 will get you to 8. We're going right, all right? We're moving positive. We're going right. All right. Negative 3 plus 2. Negative 3 plus 2. Plus, we're going that way. Two spots over to negative 1. All right. How about negative 3 minus 2? Negative 3. Two more over will give you negative 5. All right, and finally, subtraction of whole numbers, 6 minus 5. We've done that before. 6 minus 5 will take you to 1. Okay, so what you need to remember is negative goes to the left, positive goes to the right. Subtraction to the left, addition to the right. All right, so take down these examples. And this is nothing new. We've done this in class already. You kind of figured it out already. Just take this down and make, take the examples down so you have uh, some notes that you can refer back to later. All right, next. All right, adding and subtracting positive numbers. No sign means it's positive. So therefore, 5 is really plus 5. The only time that you're going to have an integer in front of the number is if it's negative. All right, so, but if you see a positive number, it won't have any sign in front of it. It will be written like that. So an example would be 2 plus 3 equals 5. Right? You could write it like this, but when do you see that? You're right, you don't. All right. How about here? 6 plus 6, positive 6, minus positive 3 equals positive 3. You don't see it like that. You see it here is written when it's a positive number. All right, so this is just something to remember. You know this already. Okay, so it's nothing new. Now, here's the fun part. Here is the very fun part. This is really important here, so start taking this down. Pause if you need to. Go get something neat. Gear up for it, because here it comes. All right, now, adding and subtracting using integers. Here's what we spoke about briefly. Now, subtracting a negative is the same as adding. So when you uh, 6 minus negative 3 is exactly the same way of saying 6 plus 3. Okay, so 6 minus negative 3 will equal 6 plus 3, is 6 plus 3, and will give you 9. So these basically cancel each other out, and it's the same as saying I'm adding it. Okay, so subtracting a negative number is like adding. Subtracting a positive or adding a negative is subtraction. Okay, so if you see unlike signs, it's subtraction, Sub, um, negative and a positive, or positive and a negative, 
between the two numbers, it becomes negative. So it's subtracting. All right, so 6 minus plus 3 is the same as saying 6 minus 3 equals to 3. So if you move on the number line, you start at negative 6, and you add 3 more, where are you going to go? You're going to go to 3. All right? So it's pretty simple stuff. All right, same example here. 5 plus negative 7 is the same as saying 5 minus 7 equals to negative 2. It will get you to the same spot using each one, but subtracting a positive or adding a negative, unlike terms, okay, will get you to subtraction. All right? It's a lot there. Pause it right now. Take this example down. Write this down. You need this. All right? I'll wait. Okay, I hope that was good. Hope you got everything that you need. Go back if you need to. So here's the rule. So two like signs become a positive sign. All right, so two like signs all right, will become positive. So plus and plus, all right? So three plus two, same as saying, is the same thing. You've done this all the time. Three plus two will equal five, okay? Two of the like sign, negative and negative, will become plus, all right? So plus and plus, plus, positive and positive, plus, okay, or positive. 6 minus negative 3 equals 6 plus 3. Negative and negative become a positive. So like signs become a positive sign. Remember this. This, very important. Two like signs, the same signs, become positive. Two unlike signs become a negative. So if you have a positive and negative number, a negative and positive number. So 7 plus negative 2 is the same as saying 7 minus 2. So a plus sign with a negative, plus a negative. If you are subtracting a negative number from a plus sign, it's like saying subtraction. Same with a positive number from a negative number. 8 minus positive 2, same as saying 8 minus 2 will give you 6, okay? So when you see unlike terms, you're subtracting, okay? When you're seeing like terms, you're adding. Very simple stuff. So like signs are like saying are when they are like each other. In other words, they're the same, okay? Simple stuff. So what you need to remember is this, okay? Two of the same signs become positive, okay? Two unlike signs, like there, becomes negative. All right? So it's like adding, like subtracting. Any questions, we'll address. Pretty straightforward. Take all this down. Go back and uh, rewatch and take all these uh, examples down. We're going to need it going forward, okay? So thanks for watching. We'll talk.